Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Jeff Harrison, and over here behind the computer is Andrew McCauley, and we're really excited to have you here. We also want to welcome our guests online. We do stream this live throughout the world uh, every, every Tuesday morning, 7.30, or roughly thereof, after everybody gets their coffee and donuts. We have a little bit of a special guest this morning, and he, he, I was going to say he got up early, but I think he stayed up all night because typically, you know, the people who work at SCORE have been retired for a while, so they don't get up at 5 a.m. usually every morning. So I think he stayed up all night, and uh, otherwise you might have been here, but I want to introduce a gentleman who's very near and dear to our hearts. His name is Mike Carl, and he is the chairman of the Coachella Valley score. So he's going to give you a little intro. He's actually practicing, so we want to be careful. Don't hurt his feelings. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, he's practicing for a, an event that he's going to be doing back in Washington, D.C., and it's all your fault because you've made our Coachella Valley score very popular, and they want, they want him to come back to Washington, D.C. and do some neat radio shows. So, Mike, <laughs> come on up. No pressure. No Mike pressure. Call, Thank you. That's okay. A little bit, kind of like Ed McMahon and Johnny Carson. So we welcome you. Uh, I did stay up or get up a little early because uh, I wanted to see how successful this event is and how well that Andrew and Jeff and Amy do. And, and it's exciting to uh, come and uh, see you. And I certainly will listen and see how productive this thing is. Yes, I am going back to Washington next week. Um, this, these kinds of uh, experiences have gone viral and uh, uh, Small Business Administration, which we're a part of back in Washington, has seen some of these kinds of videos and they said, wow, we want you to come back and uh, go on some uh, local radio stations uh, back for the SCORE National Conference, which is being held back in Washington, D.C in the dead of summer back in Washington next week. So I'm practicing, and so if I don't hear any applause, it's okay. So I wanted to talk a few minutes about SCORE, and uh, we are a bunch of, excuse me, at my age, I gotta wear glasses for the camera. It's okay, Linda. Uh, we are a, a group of uh, retired individuals, and we wanna give back to the community, and we've been retired for somewhere between three to five to 10 years, and uh, these events get you to become aware of SCORE and uh, what we can do for you and uh, we'd love to have you uh, participate or come in and be a part of a, the organization and come in as a, as a client. It's, uh, we're all volunteers, and there's no charge. You can come in one time. We did have a group of people uh, maybe 25 times. 25 seems a little long, but uh, you, you certainly can come in as as often as you want. We have uh, specialists in various fields, and I may be repeating this over and over again, but uh, uh, we are a great bunch of individuals, and you'll find some of the retired executives uh, somewhere between the ages of 60 and 92, uh, or is it now 93, Ron? 93. Well <laughs> preserved. And so at the end, uh, if you want to come in for some uh, sessions, uh, co-counseling and, and learning more about the things that would help you be a success, uh, we have an individual outside the, the uh, office out there that will set up an appointment for you. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 12. Uh, we also have an office in Palm Springs and we've expanded now into Desert Hot Springs and into Yucca Valley. And so we're moving and grooving. And uh, thank you for coming, and uh, I think it's great. And to see this many people this early in the morning, rather than watching uh, the Channel 3 News, or, in August. I'm sorry. In August. In August. So, uh, and we've had one special event, and I, and I will stop. Uh, we had a big uh, score, uh, 50th anniversary uh, breakfast with I'm sorry uh, if you're a Democrat or even with Raul Ruiz at the uh, Agua Caliente uh, Resort and Casino back in January. And we're looking forward, hopefully, if he's elected, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, to uh, uh, have a similar event uh, in the first quarter of next year. And that was exciting for us, and uh, we're going to move forward. And uh, this is what the brochure looked like. And if I can open it at my age, uh, this was kind of what the 
thing looked like. So welcome, enjoy, learn, and we would love to have you come in and uh, set up some time with SCORE and we would love to make you a success. We've had several success stories. Uh, uh, the uh, latest one was called uh, Liberty Now of Smart Education, which is, I have to put on my glasses, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Science, Math, and Robotic Technology Education. And this has been a real success for us. And we want all of you to be a success. So thank you and enjoy and learn. And if you have any, if you have any critique notes, it will help me go on the radio next week so, so I, I don't bum out. Thank you. If you need an extra sheet of paper to write down things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> okay. So anyway, so let's get started. First of all, yes, ma'am. You said it's live streamed. Is it recorded or can you watch it later? Yes. Great. Yeah, how cool is that? I'm gonna speaking of how cool it is, it's a little warm in here, isn't it? But it's just, yeah. I knew it was turn that sign around so I can see that password. Let's turn it back. Can you see it that distance? Now today we're gonna talk about uh, video marketing. But before we get started, we want to show you a little video that Mike's gonna take back to Washington with him to show his peers and uh, his counterparts. And it really is and you know, it's, I guess it's one of those things, sometimes when you, when you do something, you goof up and it's like exactly what we need. I thought about it this morning driving in at Washington and Fred Waring, so hopefully it's gonna work out like I thought it was going, or I think it is. And so, if you'll show that video, and I apologize, the sound is not real loud, but it gives you an idea, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have you participate in, what does this all mean, ready? Thank you, thank you. Hopefully it was hopefully it was entertaining, but this is information, but it's also a, a specific pattern when you're making videos that you should follow with your industry. And we're gonna talk about that today, but what's the first thing you remember, Holly? What's the first thing you remember that you saw in there that immediately addressed his specific target market, in this case, our specific target market? Um, I said, 
the part about analyzing, um, that's something I know nothing about. Okay. So I think that that brings people here to learn about what you're talking about. Cool. Susan, right? Susie. Susie, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, actually, the little animated guy. Yeah, what did, he, what did it say there? Do you remember? I don't remember, but uh, it kept my attention because of the little, little dude. Cool. Anyone else? Yes. It said, um, you can't, what you want is too expensive or it's incomplete. Absolutely. Right. Anyone else? What you're going to learn <laughs> is. Exactly. So the first thing we did, and we're going to dive into this, okay, because it's going to be a basic template. And this is the coolest part. If you look down on your feet, what do you have on your feet? Shoes. Shoes. Do we all wear the same size? No. Do we all wear the same style? No. We don't, but we all wear what? Shoes. Shoes. So this is like that same idea. This is your shoe in that capacity and now you can say well I can customize it for my business for my product for my service for my brand does that make sense okay so let's dive into that let's go back to our PowerPoint okay so video marketing we're gonna have a little side of analytics it's almost like I'll take a hamburger with a side of fries okay so we're gonna talk a little bit about that today so let's go to the next one so first thing is you know, let's see if we get past the selfies, okay? <laughs> How good is that, huh? That cute. Isn't that cute? Really? Okay, I, I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist that. It's you, adorable. Isn't that, right now, they're actually, they're actually YouTube channels that only focus on selfies. There are channels out there that's all they do is selfies, but we're going to get past that because there's more to it than <laughs> selfies. All those are important, okay? So first of all, we're going to assume in this program that everyone has a video, okay? Even if you don't, let's just for right now, let's say, let's everybody get on the same plane and say, okay, I have a video. First of all, we've, you've heard Andrew talk about, you know what, there are platforms that you own and platforms that you rent. Which is better? Own. Own. Own, there you go, own. If you're gonna do what? Attract your client or have them buy something from you or become a long-term client? What do you think? Do we wanna do we wanna rent or buy that platform? Buy. Buy? Anyone? Well, that's a good if, you're that's rent, a if you're renting and somebody else has the infrastructure that's strong that basically is able to support everything you need. Great. As an example, how many of you have cable television? Not many. Really? Let me try that again. How many of you have how many of you have more than 13 channels on your TV? Okay. All right. So a few of you. Now, let me ask you, do you own that or do you rent that? Rent. Rent, okay? Do you have uh, do you have any home videos that you've ever done? Do you show those? And do you own them or do you rent them? Own them. Okay, so we're going to think about this. When you're going to create your own product, your own message, and it's something that says, hey, you know what, I want somebody to really follow me, be part of my tribe, join my group, I want to put that on a platform that I own. But we also want to use other platforms to drive your customers. So Holly is an example in your business with, with uh, spin classes. You might use a rented platform to drive your traffic, not to sell them, but to attract them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Because I'll tell you what, how many of you imagine you said, hey, let's say for instance you want to do your, your program that you have, and you say, you know what, I'm just going to hitch my wagon to Time Warner. I'm just going to, I'm just just going to start putting a channel out there on Time Warner. Yeah, right. It's not going to be that easy, is it? Because who owns that platform? They get to decide. Do we want to watch your stuff? Do we want to put it out there? Is it, is it viable? Are we going to make any money from it? You don't want somebody to tell you yes or no. You want to be able to do it on your own. Okay. So the next thing is we have that video. We decide it's on our platform. And then there's other platforms to drive traffic. Okay. So we're going to do it with, I'm going to call it with blogs with videos. It's sometimes called vlog. It's probably evolved past that. But this is where the total solution lies. In other words, let's say, for instance, Linda, your business is, and I'm just going to make some of this stuff up. <laughs> that, let's say, although there's a lot to choose from with Linda, let's say Linda works with uh, nonprofit organizations, and her key is to help them drive traffic to their business. So maybe her video might be something about, 
nonprofits struggling in this economy or in this environment to attract new funds. And if you're one of those clients, here's some solution. Here's my top three solutions. And you might give three little answers, and then you'll also say, but if you'd like more, because I can't tell you everything here, and your specific industry, click here. Okay? So that might be where you put that on that rented platform. But in this one, this is where you give them the meat. Does that make sense? So now you say, hey, you've attracted them to you, and now it's like, now you go into step by step. Here's my white paper. Here's my longer video course. Andrew's an expert at this. He has membership sites where you, it's almost like writing a book, Holly. Once you write it, now you just market it. And that's what a big thing we want to talk about today is once you do this, you own it, and you can market it, market it, market it. It's real key is, and this you might want to write this down, when you make videos or content, try to make them evergreen. Does everybody understand what that means? Evergreen. So if I watch her video, it's relevant today, it's relevant next week, it's relevant next year, maybe even relevant five years from now. So that way you only have to do it once. Yes, ma'am. I just made a video and I'm pricing in it, but I took it out. Good for you. How would you still put price in there, but not take it out, but Affordable. not give it? There you go. What did you, what did you say? Affordable. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, something as simple as that. So again, the video is where it lies. As it says right here, content means better business. Content means better business. What does that, what does that mean? What do you think that means? Content means better business. I think it means that, that you've got something of value that, 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 they, that people want. Okay. Like in your business, your business, tell us what people your ideal client would want. People that my client would want? Or what your ideal client, what they would want. Why are they? Why are they? Why are they coming to you? Why would they come to you? Well, um, it depends which business we're talking about. But um, do you know Linda? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but for um, vibrational energy solutions, it would be because they have um, they want someone that, that they trust that they can confide in, that gives them a, a very peaceful um, experience as far as being able to calm down and reduce stress. Okay, so she said only one word in all of that that got my attention. What was it? Calm down. Nope, that's two words. Oh, that's two words. Stress. Stress, stress exactly. Stress. See, I'm only looking for her for stress. I don't need this woo-woo stuff, even though that may be it. Now, please don't take offense to that. But if I saw that, I'm like, oh, you know, here we go again. i got to chant. I've got to have the bowls. Plus, I have all this stuff, so I try it. Okay? So my point is this. What pain are you solving? Stress. Dig into that stress, right? Because here's the thing. Sometimes we let, you ever know what a scab is? We let that start to heal over that wound. You know, we keep working at it, and all of a sudden, getting up early, staying up late, dealing with tough clients, you know, having kids, uh, you know, whatever it may be, all of a sudden we start building up this immunity to them, but it still is there. What does stress do to us in our lives? What, what are the negative effects of stress, it anyway? It makes you ill. It makes you ill. What else? Tired. 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 What else does it do? You don't think Irritable. clearly. You can't think clearly. Irritable. Irritable. How about you in the back? Headaches. Headaches. <laughs> Pissed off. Pissed off. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, this is a G-rated. Let's cut that piece out. Exactly. So to me, those are the things you want to talk about. Here are the top 10 things that you have from stress that's, gonna, that's damaging your life and shortening your lifespan. Ooh, wow, I don't know if, I, does that make sense? Now she's got my attention. Right. Now you provide an answer or a solution. Here's my top 10 things that cause shortness of life due to stress. And then you write that out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's that grabber headline. How important is a grabber headline? Yeah, extremely important. I was, just, I was just thinking about that. I had a similar experience with someone in your space only three days ago. They rang me. They wanted to do a webinar with all these people coming on and they do the same sort of stuff. And they said, oh, I'm going to show people how to relax. And like people aren't looking to, the, the pain is a bigger driver than pleasure. 
So if you can supply the solution to a pain rather than opportunity for pleasure, they're going to take the give me the band-aid every time because it's like a nice to have on, a nice to be relaxed, to be nice to feel energetic, but realistically it's like I'm sick of being stressed, I'm headaches, I'm sick, I'm blah blah blah. Give me the answer to that. I want to get rid of that right now. And you're going to find that you'll have 10 times more people interested in what it is. And you can still do the same content as you're going to do if you're going to offer the relaxing stuff, but it's giving, getting them to come along because you've got more leverage for that point. So the more important, uh, uh, go back to Jeff's question is, what is the headline? Because you've only got one chance, one headline to, to offer them so they can read more. The idea of a headline is so they can read the next sentence. If your headline says, I'm going to stop stress in one easy step, or whatever it may be, hey, I want that, then I'm going to read the next part. But if you say, oh, here's a nice way to relax, it's like, yeah, I'm going to get my pillow, I can do the same thing. So make sure that headline offers a solution to their proper pain rather than op an opportunity for pleasure. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. OK, so in this context, when you say headline, you're talking about the title of a video? It could be anything. Like, it could be, what is the, what is the one thing that's going to get their attention? It could be okay. the title of the video. It could be an email. It could be on a pamphlet. Okay. It could be on a brochure. It could be, it could be even your opening line when you meet somebody. Hey, what do you do? That's Jacqueline, right? What do you do, Jacqueline? Uh, well, I help people get rid of stress, which means da 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 Rather than um, I do all this nice healing and stuff like that, um, it's like here's, what, here's my solution to a pain that you may not even know you have right now. But as soon as I remind you you have it, I want to know more about that. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. So where were you going to market this? It says these are platforms when we say, hey, if we want to use a rented platform to get those kind of messages out there, Jacqueline, we want to say, let's go to the best. Okay, now YouTube is at the very top. Now I want you to take a look at this. This is as of August 1st. Okay, these are where YouTube ranks as far as search engines. They're number one when it comes specifically to video, but they're the third largest search engine on the planet. 162.7 million unique vi visitors visit YouTube. Is that a day? That's a day. That's a day. Okay? That's a lot. That's a lot of traffic. How many did you say? 162.7 M. I think that's million. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. My question is, is why is Google so far down, not even listed? Uh, well, in the ranking? great I mean, question. Is, the reason is because it says Google videos. It's only uh, Google videos Google right now. Talk talking about video searches. Yep. And number one and two are Google and... Uh, well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll stop there for a second. We're talking about it. When we look at this and say, who is the best to put my information out there right. in a rented platform? Who's the biggest and the baddest? That's YouTube. If we say, who's the biggest search engine of all? Google. 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 Who's two? Yeah. Andrew. No, no, no. <laughs> Yahoo? No. Actually, it's Facebook. Oh. Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Alexa ranking is a ranking of websites, of traffic to websites. So Google is the biggest one. Then Facebook, then you got YouTube, and then it's the rivers of Yahoo and Google and um, that sort of stuff. It's yeah. way down at 20, 30, number 30, 40, so. But let's say, let's say for instance for a second, and I used to use Vimeo, and I like Vimeo, I don't have anything negative against it. It's a great platform to put your videos on. It's not the best platform to spread your message, because look at this. 10 million people a day go to that website. The other one, 162.7 million. That's like saying, well, you know, I want to set up on El Paseo, or I want to set up on uh, you know, some side street in India off of Jackson. I'd rather be on El Paseo where I know there's some built-in traffic, wouldn't you? So I'm going to use the that. Costs are the same. Exactly, especially when the costs are the same. What's your age demographic for that, though? Because if you're trying to reach an older age demographic, because I know that YouTube's used a lot by the younger generation. Actually, actually, the fastest age demographic is what? You have as far as growth? Oh, uh, that was uh, Twitter, but but it, on, online, it's it's usually around 45 to 65 is the fastest demographic. People are now starting to take it up as they get older. They're starting to feel more comfortable with technology. And it's like, oh, this YouTube thing is not that hard. Push play. Yeah. And, and YouTube actually. <laughs> YouTube is actually. Uh, well, because remember, the kids these days were born with the internet. Like, anyone that's younger than 92. So, anyone that's like, <laughs> 90, 90, 90, 92 is when the internet came out. So, anyone that's younger than 21 was born with the internet. So, they're used to it. It's like, my, my two year old knows how to 
Some of these, in defense of these, they're very specific. They talk to a very specific type of group. Like maybe if you're, you're let's say you're in motorcycles, there may be a specific avenue for that. Where Vimeo is more for, the, its whole idea when it first started was, and it's still there, is more for a serious filmmaker. So you're really trying to hone your craft. And you can see that, and you can watch a lot of videos, and you can get a lot of good information from them. It's not quite like YouTube, where it's just this <coughs> curation of everything, okay? Everyone puts that on there. So let's go to the next slide. So the reason I say YouTube is a platform, that's your rented platform, that'd be a great place to start because of all that traffic, if you will. Billions of views a day now watch more than TV. This is something that's really interesting. Last month it was announced that YouTube videos actually get more hours of watching than us watching regular television. Wow. Cable, cable television, excuse me, cable television, which is huge. Now, if you don't think that got the, the cable executives a little excited, I guarantee it did, okay? I was watching something uh, last night, and it talks about, I, I'm trying to think, it's, it's a type of advertising, have you seen this, it just, just announced yesterday, it's where they're actually, they're making these videos, and it's all about the product, but it's in an entertaining way. Okay. Now, when I, that's the, that's the, the story, Lid, uh, it tells a story. It's called like twerk, twerk advertising, or, no, no, okay, okay. Anyway, it has. The word, it has the word advertise. It has the word advertising it. When I first began, <laughs> when I first, sorry, I got to remember this is a family show. When I first got, <laughs> when I first began doing this in video, we created, we were involved in a product that was exactly the same. We call it, um, inf not infomercials, but infotainment. It was a, the show was about the product in an entertaining way. A lot of cable networks and TV can't afford to do that because it's very expensive, but they're doing it like crazy on the internet. We're doing it like crazy on the internet. It's not an advertisement, it's a story about the product in an entertaining way. Yes, sir? There's another interesting statistic on what's going on online. I heard the other day that <clears throat> the viewing of Netflix online sucks up 30% of all of the bandwidth that's used every single day throughout the United States. 30%. How good is that? that? One I, wa I watch network, ne Netflix, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. So that's uh, so now it's watch more. It's it's your go-to resource for search. As an example, if you want to know how to install anything, you can just go to YouTube. How do you install this? How do I edit a video using Sony Vegas Movie Studio? How do I use Easy Video Suite? How do I tie a tie? That's still one of the most popular searches out there. Seriously. Just to just to kind of take a little side trip on that is Video, one of the cool things about video, it takes a complicated and makes it easy because now I can show you, right? Instead of writing down how to do this, and that's the coolest part, is now I can show you how to tie a tie instead of, instead of trying to write it out. I mean, it's like if you had to write out how to take a step holly, instead of saying, this is what I want you to do. 
put one foot in front of the other. Oh, I can do that. Let me just call, let me just copy Holly. Let's rewind and play. Hey, I'm doing it, right? That's the cool part about this. Like spin class. For me, spin class is intimidating because, man, everybody's sweating their up on, I mean, I've seen it. It's tough. But if I see that, maybe in a different light, I might say, you know, maybe, maybe I need to do that, right? Maybe my pants would fit better. I stand tall or whatever it might be, the effects of that. You had a question or a comment? Would you call um, Chipotle's um, video advertainment? Advertising. Yeah, I have to look that up, but I, I would say infotainment. You infotainment. bet. Infotainment. Yeah. If you want to see a real good series, these are probably the best, in my opinion, on the planet, are Red Bull. Would you agree? When you think Red Bull, mm -hmm. Red Bull are amazing at these because here's what they do. They get people like me talking about it and sharing it, and it says absolutely nothing about Red Bull. But after you watch it, you want to subscribe to their channel and see how they did it. Where a, a young group of kids in the city, in the inner city of Detroit, have any of you been to Detroit? Inner city? Yep. It's rough. I used to do business there a lot. It's rough. Plenty of buildings that are burned out and rubble. Well, they took all this snow and stacked it up. And they made a, a ski jump and a landing through this old burnout building, and they and it showed the whole process. And it was about a seven or eight minute video. I was intrigued. Seven or eight minute video. The whole time it's showing this in their experience. And then at the end, of course, you get the you get the golden nugget. They actually did it. It's a it's a it's a video by Red Bull. They paid for the whole thing, and it just gets thousands. Actually, gets millions of views. Okay, so that's the way to do that. We already said it's a third largest search engine. So YouTube as a platform is a good way to go. Next. So how to drive traffic in three simple steps. Anybody interested in three simple steps? Here we go. The first is to seek to solve problems. Seek to solve problems. What's the problem with your industry for your ideal client? How do I sell my home fast? How do I sell my home fast? You know? How do you avoid making one more mortgage payment by selling your home faster using and then you fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. How about yours? What's the number one problem your your client has a problem with? Getting behind the gates. Absolutely. Are you tired of not knowing what's behind that gate at Marrakesh and you think you might want to go in there but you can't get through the gate? Okay. Uh -huh. Dean? Uh, how do I uh, make my home ready for the summer? I just turned the air conditioner on. How about you? Hey, go, to <laughs> go to my website and read the blog. <laughs> See, I think you need to go deeper. Okay. okay, because I don't know what that means. That's too broad, right? Good point. Who needs to get their home ready for the summer? If you're going to be away from your home, how do you make it ready uh, for the summer while you're gone? Yeah. How to avoid expensive repairs by getting your home ready for the summer heat. Right? Now that's a little more specific, right? If I'm somebody who leaves for the summer, go to Seattle and think, I better take a look at that just in case, right? And then you might, and they might say in the subtitle, the three most expensive overlooked problems, right? Ooh, I gotta check that out. Do you have that yet? I wanna look at that. No, I'm just kidding. How about yours? What's your? Actually, stress reduction. Stress reduction. By pedaling a rail bike down the railroad tracks. How to avoid <laughs> trains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to get your life back on track. There you go. Right? I like it. There you go. I'm going to train you. you. Yes. I'm going to train That's you. Great. Right? You. How to get your life back on track. Okay? There's a, right. there's a, oh, there's a great book, How to Avoid Big Ships. Yes. Have you seen it? No, from us. Did it do you? It just fell off. Go to Amazon and type in the, the title. It's a, it's, a, it's a ridiculous book, but you've got to read the reviews. The reviews about. How do you avoid big shit? Like, how many people want to do that? <laughs> yeah. You're going to read these reviews. It's all there. I love it. Uh, how to um, promote a marketing campaign that's effective for uh, becoming an uh, employee. Not a problem. It's not a problem. You've got to, give me, you've got to seek to solve a problem. What's the problem? Um, Your ideal client, what's their problem? They need a resume. Okay, cool. How do I how do I make that so big and grander that it's just it's like this huge magnet that sucks me to your headline, and I got to know more about this. Digging deeper, they need a job, right? D digging deeper, they need a job, right? <clears throat> Unemployed, right? Behind on payments, need a job. Get off the couch. You need a resume. I'll show you exactly how to write that resume. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. See, now it gets my attention. I didn't, I didn't, just bang, there it is. 
We've kind of talked about yours. I don't want you to stress out about it. Well, how, how, to, <laughs> um, how to, um, focus more on making you happy rather than making everybody else happy. Nah. Come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. Come on, Jacqueline. Um, how to... What's the problem? Don't tell them the how-to yet. What's the problem? Um, the problem is, is everybody is always trying to, like, for women, we're all trying to be super, super women. We think that we can handle everything and, um, and we put our needs last. Is your life getting out of control? Yeah. You can have a picture up there. Mm -hmm. Are you a superwoman outside, but you're stressed out inside? Right. I'll show you how to make it balanced. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Something as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're not writing this down, I'm going to start selling this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have an offer in my house, but how do I know if it's, if it's a reasonable offer or not? I need some information to find out if, if I should accept it or not. Hmm. Too wordy. Too wordy, yeah. yeah. Too wordy. Too wordy. Yeah. It's got to be, uh, so you're talking about these people that have already, that have already got the house for sale, so they've already gone through cherry stuff and then they don't want to do their sales, so now they're, is the offer right for you? Is this offer right for me? Um, What's the value of your home? Am I getting gypped off? Am I losing money? Yeah. Am yeah. I leaving money on the table? Am I being ripped off when I sell my house? Yeah. Something, something that's going to be a pain point that says, uh, I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm getting the, the right value. I don't want to lose. I don't want to leave money on the table yet. Two reasons appraisal are so important in maximizing your profits and sale in the sale of your home. That you don't underprice it. And just, just leave it at that. That we're talking a headline. Not going content yet, right? Don't, don't underprice your home. Two. No, I'm just saying that's your headline. Something along that line. Two things about appraisals you didn't know that help maximize your profit at time of sale. Well, that's, that's the headline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could probably write something about that, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. There's probably 50. I've seen your blogs. I mean, you've got 50 blogs on it. You could pick two of your best ones and put in there. You could change it every week, mm -hmm. right? Something along that line. Mm -hmm. Okay, be cool back there. What are you talking about? Uh, probably getting the word out and educating people about my product. And if I only had a hook. <laughs> Where's my squirt gun, Amy? Tell them how much better my product is than what's on the Come on. No. Comparison. You can compare all day. Let's You're not progressive. You need to say, hey, what problem are you solving? What problem are you solving? See, this is why your messages aren't getting heard, gang is because you're trying to do what everybody else is doing. There's one law in the marketing jungle. Find out what everybody else is doing and don't do it. You need to set yourself aside, right, Holly? Nobody's doing what Holly's doing. Thousands of people are doing what you're doing, but they don't do it like you. Find out what you do unique and tell them about it. But do it when solving a problem. You have to expose that problem. Does that make sense? I'm going to come back to you. But I want something better. Yes, sir? Uh, okay. Yes, you in the green. <laughs> I'm thinking that. Uh, just, uh, you know, three simple steps, five reasons why you should uh, consider, you know, doing this, that, and the other thing. Your ideal client, what do you, out. your ideal client seek to solve, what is it? What's the problem they're having? Uh, well, with this gentleman's or this gentleman's Yours, or yours, or yeah. Okay, well. Uh, Who knows you use better than yours? Use better than yours. All right, uh, three simple steps to quit smoking. Live longer. Yeah. You want to be around for your grandchildren's life? I'll show you three ways to stop smoking. That's emotional, isn't it? Right, yeah. Man. Okay. You may not get everybody who has nieces and nephews, but all the grandparents who've been smoking for many, many years, Wow, that gets your attention. Sometimes you got to hit them right between, what is it, the fender guard and the headlights, as my dad used to say. Well, I would probably have to say with our business, um, how to have a, I don't know how to say this right, but how to have a good dog and be able to take the dog out in public <laughs> without. Kids and dogs in public are terrible. I'm going to show you the three easy ways to make your dog obedient. And I used to be a school teacher, so I can't combine it. There you go, okay. <laughs> Train your dog, train your kid, three easy steps. Okay. That's it. There you go. See how this works? Good. I want to hear your spin on this. Oh, my spin on this is, it's eye-opening because I don't, 
because you mentioned the fear of going into a spin class. And I want to be able to be the place where people want to go, where they're not fearful to come try something new. Because it's, it's a spin studio, but also circuit training, which is more core. So I would, I mean, obviously, it's longevity in life, better health, weight loss. But I want to be able to promote more of a lifestyle change for longevity in life. Okay. What's the problem, though? Seeking to solve problems. Um, That's a solution. People are, fear, people are fearful of coming into studios to work out. Why? Because they feel like they don't know how they're going to... They don't know how to do it. Why? They intimidated. They're intimidated. Why are they intimidated? Because it's something they've never done before. Why? Why they're they fat. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. They're embarrassed. Yeah. 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 That's right. It's not necessarily bad, but maybe maybe the fact that they uh, all they see about spin classes is people falling off the bike at the end of the game. Yeah. 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 And they may not be fat, they just may not be able to go, I can't keep up with maybe, that. Yeah, maybe they're fearful that they're not in that kind of condition and yeah. they're going to have to be carried out or something. Well, in a lot yeah. of videos and stuff you see on it, it's younger people, but my spin classes that I teach at Lunch Gym, everybody's all, a lot older than me, you know? Doing it, so they're not oh, well, Polly Emery's older than you, come on. I get past the gym without a spin class, and the lady is like a, she's like a nuts. Yeah, go, 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 scaring you, I haven't gone to the bike yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but see, you have to figure out, and, and really it's niching it down, you have to keep yeah. dialing down, dialing down until you answer that first question. There's a reason to go to two or three until you get that first one, because the first one is that first domino that makes the other ones easier. See, if we get that, well, you know, you should, you should make a video because just, it's just so much better for your business. That's it. See, I don't want to say that. Mm -hmm. I want to get it to where it, it really addresses your problem. Because if I can't fix your problem, there's no way you're going to follow me. There's no way you're going to follow Andrew. If we don't say, here's the problem we know you have. Let's expose it. Let's get it out on the table and say, you know what? You're fat. <clears throat> but without saying you're fat. But they recognize this. We have this innate ability. It's a fight or flight. When we see something, we see something and we recognize this. This is a psychological thing. Is this fear or is it okay when you see this? It's okay. But if I held up a machete, would it be fear if I was a little wacko? More than I am? Okay. Would that be fear, fight or flight, or would it be like, ah, it's okay? It could be a collectible item. Well, we're not in okay. <laughs> Exactly. So it's an environmental thing. But the idea is when we see something, we have fight or flight. We want to we want to engage that flight, that fear. We recognize that. See, if we make it too broad, we're allowing them to fill it in. And they may say, well, you know, maybe I'm not on Tuesdays. It's okay. They're filling that in. We don't want them to fill it in. We want them to be in this corner. So the only thing they can do is, i got to have more of that. I've got to go see Holly because I want to get behind the gate. I, I've got to go get on that bike, even though the seat is too small for my derriere. But maybe with her help, it will fit later. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm curious because I've, I've been involved all my life. I'm There's no but. No, so, okay. There's no but. I've never helped. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying, because uh, I've been in. I feel like Darren Stevens sometimes. <laughs> But what I'm saying is if someone has never done it, it is very intimidating because mm -hmm. everybody's huffing and puffing and mm -hmm. they think, oh, my, my muscles are cramping and oh, I'm never going to be able to walk again. Maybe, number one, to give a free introductory first time. Way down the road. Way down the road. Way down the road. We're talking about you no, need to I identify mean, these I problems first. Yeah, you've got to get, get them in there first. With get the them in there. You've got 127 million people watching unique visitors a day, how do you niche out five or ten? I mean, would five or ten new clients a day make a difference in your business? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. You're not trying to talk to the world. You're trying to talk to those four or five. Okay. Susie? Um, lower your taxes. Have more vacation money, I guess. That's better. Would you rather pay more taxes or go on more vacations? Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm going to show you how to take more vacation time. Cool. 
that make sense? Yeah, have a better vacation. Some people just want to go on a vacation, yes. right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right? All right, so does that make sense? Seek to solve that problem. I spent a lot of time on that. We're going to move pretty rapidly now. Okay. Develop a solution. Develop a solution and invite for more. So now let's think about that video. Seek to solve a problem. Remember on the video it stood there? Hey, are you searching for an answer to help you for business resource solutions? But they're maybe too expensive, they're too complicated, whatever it is, right? So we talked about that at the beginning. Then we developed a solution. Remember what the solution was? Sunrise Business Mastermind, workshops, expanded to what we do, right? There's a solution. The next thing is, let's go to the next one. So solving problems, we already talked about the ideal client has customers, has reasons. List the top five or ten, write it down. Hey, what are my customers dealing with? What are their problems? Write them down. Each one of those could be your next headline. Each one of those could be your video. If you write down five, those are five different videos. Some people say, God, what do I, what do I make a video about? It gets too broad. You're trying to do two things. Make it one item and then knock it out of the park. Next. Development solution, video, or any content should be about how. How to solve that solution. The top three reasons your carpet is making you sick. Not just mine, yours. We call it reverse engineering. Start with in mind. See what this says? Top three reasons your carpet is making you sick. Anybody interested in that? If you're not getting your carpet clean twice a year, you could be or you're probably not experiencing the optimum health you deserve. For $99, we can make sure you're not getting sick by all that stuff that lives in your carpet. Imagine in this room, geez, let's rip this carpet out, Andrew, okay? Anyway, we're gonna start with the end in mind. So that's developing a solution. Does that, that make sense? Yes, ma'am. I've found that um, you can use you interchangeably on Google, but you rank higher if you use mine. Okay, good. In YouTube. Excellent, excellent. When you're making things, I'm going to say this. Who's this video about? Me or you? Your clients. So I'm going to put you in there a lot. Okay? But I like what you said. But if I say, hey, top three reasons my carpet is making me sick, mm, I want to be about you, Linda. I want to know I want you to know why three the three reasons your carpet is making I don't you have sick. Carpet at all time. Okay. <laughs> See she smartened up. That's the answer. Get tile. And I'm a tile I sell tile. Maybe that could be it, right? Alright, so let's go to the next one. So invite. We call it a call to action. Do you guys did you guys remember the call to action in that video? Anybody? It was a webinar or a class? Or Classes. Remember how we did it? There was a website and it was went by really fast and I was trying to write it down. So we extended it a little bit. On the actual video, it's there. This is just a promo video. But we said, hey, if you'd like to know more, come join us on Tuesday or Wednesday. And we gave you the time, the place. We even offered the coffee and donuts. Remember that? Those are all call to actions. Were those real hardcore? Did you feel intimidated by our whole uh, donut thing? No. We invited you in. I only had room in this video for the top three reasons on knowing how to market your company through video. But if you'd like to complete this list along with my first three action steps you can take to get started, click here. Right? If they like that video and they're at that point, chances are they're going to click through because they want more because they're to say, hey, I like this stuff. I like this whole thing about, you know what? I don't have to be in pretty shape before I start spinning class. That's why I go. <coughs> Jeez, I didn't think of that. And then you might offer that free evaluation. See where you fit it in at the end, not towards the beginning. But you might start with the end in mind. I want to build to that. Does that make sense? Well, free just to get in. But see, I've already talked about, you could say the top three reasons on whatever, being healthier, enjoying your vacation more, going on more adventurous trips, whatever that may be, but you're building to that call to action. Andrew, any thoughts on that? Good. Okay, good. Anybody have any questions about that? So think about this. Three easy steps. You want to point out the problem because you're going to solve that problem, right? The next one is to solve the problem. Give them the answer. And then the final is, I only had enough time for this much, but if you'd like more information, click here and then give them something there. Why not give them a little? They're in a gift-getting mood. Give them something more. You're a very generous person, right? And then click here. When they click there, what do you get? You 
get exactly what you told them you're going to give them. And, but what do you get as the business? Oh, you get the email. You get, you get the email. So that's you get right. The letter. Absolutely. Now that's where the whole selling process is going. This is a sale made. If they do this, this is a sale made, isn't it? Sometimes we think the sale is made only when cash is exchanged. Well, I guarantee you, that name and email address is as good as cash. Statistically, for every name you have in your database, this is across all industries, it's worth $1 of revenue per month. How many names you need in your business to say, you know what, I can live on that. I can enjoy this. I can go on those vacations, right? So building that. So that's the invite. Next one. Oh, a little analytics quickie. This is for Andrew. He's going to talk a little bit about analytics. How are we doing on time? Is it time? Do it. Two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Well, this is going to be a quickie. <laughs> analytics. Get it. Do it. Um, with analytics, the one, the, one, the one thing you want to know is that you want to be measuring what you're doing. So if you are putting out videos, if you are uh, looking at how many people come to your website, you want to know how many people are coming to your website, how many people are actually converting, uh, how many people are doing the things that you want them to do on your website. It's no good having a shop that's open and people walk in and out the door and you say, yeah, I've been really busy. Well, nobody bought anything. So what's the point of having a shop? So you want to make sure that you are looking at how do you track what you are doing. So if it's a website and you want to find out how many are converting, how many people are coming to a website and then doing that call to action that you've asked them to do, you want to be checking that, you want to be testing that. Um, Google Analytics is a free account. It's one of the best analytics um, tools that you can get out there, especially because it's free. But it does measure pretty much everything. In fact, it measures more things you'll ever need. So. Um, the, there's, not a, there's only a couple of things you want to keep in mind, and that is the number of visitors, the number of people that are taking action, uh, and then the amount of time on your site is important too. How long are they spending on your site? Because if they're getting to your site and they're only spending 10 seconds, then they're obviously not getting what they're looking for, or they're, they're finding it through some other means which is not the right way. Um, Testing as well, you want to test what you're doing. So your video, you might try your, your headline for your video on YouTube and you might find that that video is not working, that headline is not getting the attention. So change it up, give it three weeks, give it two weeks, and then see if it changes and see if you get more response. With analytics, you can test which headline works the best. Same with your emails and that sort of stuff too. Uh, one of the, on the bottom we've got, uh, Two tools there, Easy Video Suite and Lead Pages. Easy Video Suite is a, is a tool that you can uh, upload your videos to and then it will give you some code so you can paste that code on your website. But Easy Video Suite is exactly what we saw. That last video was done in Easy Video Suite. It basically gives you a whole range of analytics that you can see how long people are watching the video, when it dropped off, uh, how much money you made from that video if you want to find that sort of stuff out. And then Lead Pages is our... Um, is a, is a tool that we use to create a quick landing page. So if you want to get a landing page, what I mean by a landing page is somebody wants to opt in for your giveaway. We use uh, lead pages for this event here, Sunrise Business Mastermind. If you see a little page there, you'll see that's a lead page. It's quick and easy to create. Uh, I'm not going to go too much more on analytics because that, we could spend hours and days on analytics, but just know that you want to be checking and, and um, keeping track of what you are and, uh, what your analytics are saying. Absolutely. Okay. Anybody have any questions about that? Good. All right. So why is this important? Well, first of all, Google. It's kind of intimidating. Uh, Google tells us by 2015, 90% of all of search will be done via video. That's why video is important. Video on a home page increases conversion by 64x, not 64%, 64 times. So if you have a if you have a website and you're not using video, you need to be doing that because you're getting your you know what's handed to you. Yes, ma'am. What do you mean by conversion? Okay buy your product? They're taking the next step. They're actually staying around watching a video, okay? 64 times more likely to do that because you have a video on your page. Not 64%, 64 times that. Does it need to be above the fold? You should try to put things above the fold, you bet. 73% of us watch a video review before we get in the car and make a buying decision. <coughs> Think about it. We search on our before we ever get in the car. So if I can't find you in that search, I'm certainly not going to find you in my car. 
okay? Increases the, the speed of the cell cycle. Real briefly, this is why it does, is because when I see Holly on video and hear her voice and see how she presents herself, I begin to know, like, and trust her. Those are three elements to say, I'm gonna do business with you. If I don't know, like, and trust you, I have to go through that process. Video allows you to accelerate that when you're on video. Some of you don't wanna be on video. Make sure your voice is on video. Put your passion, your compassion in your video, okay? And last, videos will rank higher and faster and longer organically. A couple weeks ago we talked about that. We showed a client and in, in really a minute they were on the first page of Google. I have a gentleman here who we work with. Tell us a little bit about what video's done for you if you don't mind. Yeah, I uh, hired Jeff and Amy to produce some videos for me and put them on my YouTube channel. And uh, you know, my business has been slow. I, I went through, first of all, I've been coming here for a couple of months. And Andrew got me uh, out this class. I turned out to revamp my website and get things slimmed down a little bit, took a lot of stuff off and started blogging. And then I hired Jeff and Amy to put some videos up on YouTube and I started getting a response. In fact, I've had my busiest month in the last, uh, for the last two years, last month. Wow. And I just recently got a, uh, you know, I, I was looking at the videos, I didn't even get, get a lot of traffic just from that from the videos, but I've gotten some, some orders. I got an order for $1,500 uh, for appraisal. I got another one that bid in for $2,800 appraisal. And so, uh, it's negative, so that's right. That's exciting. And I'm ranking, uh, my website's ranking, and the search is and much better. Nice. I'm not seeing a lot of direct people clicking on the videos, but people going, finding them, and then they're going to my website. Now, that, was the, that was what we're looking for. That's absolutely it. And because that's where they get all the information and, and can learn that trust and, and uh, you know. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think that might be it. Is that it? Oh, no. I just want to tell you real quickly, there was a, a sheet on your, your desk, and it's uh, it, everything is accurate except the first seven lines. <laughs> no, no, everything's accurate except the dates. It's actually the 23rd, Saturday, August 23rd, and Saturday, August 30th. So it's a, it, we're not doing Saturday and Sunday. We're doing Saturday and Saturday, okay? And Holly was sweet enough. She sent the, she's been here. She she went through our first class real briefly. Did you? I loved it. It was excellent. And he puts you up and takes a video of you and he teaches you how to edit it. And he walks you through it and he gives you lines. <laughs> and you're so phenomenal with your lines. Thank you. So excellent. You should not not come. Super. So that's on the 23rd and the 30th. Uh, Is it's it an identical, identical program on each day or? or no. no, it's building because we take you from, hey, I have a camera, don't know how to use it, never made a video, to shooting a video to editing it, to uploading it, to marketing it. We call it distribution. Yes, ma'am. Do you go into lighting and, okay. and, and how to uh -huh. make somebody look good on <laughs> There are some limits on how to make some people look good. No, <laughs> yes, we will enhance the person through lighting. Sometimes it's just making them a silhouette. That's their best. But a lot of times lighting helps. Yes, ma'am, we will talk about that. Lighting, sound, we'll talk about all of that. Okay, and it's it's really hands-on, is it not? I love it. Okay, love it. so it says uh, 295. It's it's uh, 295 for that. I put 297. I was trying to upsell you, but that's okay. For the next two bucks, <laughs> I'll do something different. So the worst decision is indecision. And Andrew has some information as well. Real quickly, do you have another class coming up, Andrew? Uh, no, I have no dice for that. Okay, good. All right. So did you guys like this? Yeah. Did you find it helpful? Very good. Thank you so much. Next week. Next week we're talking about online ads. We're going to talk about mm. uh, just a big picture overview of how you can start using online ads. What do you need to do? What sort of things? What are the traps? Uh, and what sort of platforms are out there? And how much it can really drive your business? How much traffic you can drive? But also how little it can cost. It's a, it's a quite a inexpensive uh, exercise. It can get as expensive as you like, but it, it is a great way to test a lot of market. Uh, but also just not giving traffic to your sites as well. So we'll talk about online ads next week. Cool. I think we have one little, I always like to end with a little bit of a, helping out other people get what they want first, and you have all you want in life. Solve problems. Solve problems. If you're a problem solver, mm -hmm. boy, you'll never go hungry. There's plenty of people out there needing your help, whatever industry you're in. So if you find out what it is you want to solve and then provide that solution, mm -hmm. the world is your oyster. Thank you.